afternoon. Welcome to the Room 204 interview show. Today, our guest is Miss Farley. She is a she is a principal at our school. When is your birthday? How how old are you? Wow, that's a great question. My birthday is in a month that only has three letters. So my birthday is on May 31st, 1965. So I won't tell you how old I am. I'll let you figure it out after the show. When you were a children, what was your favorite thing to do at school? Why? So I think much like the same as you guys, I loved recess, I loved art class, and I loved playing on the big hill in my yard. But in terms of schoolwork, I loved to write and I loved to read. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? What? So I did not think I would be a principal. I wanted actually to be a farmer. I wanted to have my own farm and I wanted to have 10 children of my very own who would work that farm for me. Did not turn out to be. Why did you become a principal? Well, since I couldn't have 10 children of my own and I wanted to be always with children, the best thing to do is to work in a school. And I was a teacher before I became a principal and I loved being a teacher, but I only had like one small class, like Miss Rawlinson has, so only a small group of children and I wanted more and more children. And so I ended up becoming a principal so that I could be with so many, like at our school we have over 600 children. Did you know that? What did you like about your job? What don't you like about your job? Why? So with every job, there's things that you like and there's things that you don't like. Just like being a student, right? There are things that you like and things that you don't like. So what I like about my job is things like I'm doing right now. Being with kids all the time or being with staff and talking to staff about how to make things better for everyone. What I don't like about my job is how many hours a day I am at work and not at home with my own family because I do have a child myself too. What is your favorite food? Why? <laughs> I know I should probably say something healthy, but if I'm being 100% honest, Either sour cream and bacon potato chip, oh, yeah. zesty cheese, Doritos, oh, yeah. or ice cream. Oh, yeah. Not good healthy habits. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Why? Um, so interesting because sometimes my favorite color changes. Blue used to be my favorite color. And then red was my favorite color, but right now I'm kind of on an orange phase. So I kind of like orange as my favorite color right now. What is your favorite song or band? Why? Wow, <clears throat> that's a good question. That's not one that kids usually ask me. So Mrs. Farley really doesn't like a whole lot of music. But if I had to say one song, it would probably be Hopelessly Devoted to You by Olivia Newton-John from a hundred years ago. Oh. But not really a hundred years ago. I'm being a bit facetious. What is... What is your favorite children's book? Why? So I do have a favorite children's book. It's called Mars Needs Moms. I don't know if you know that story or not, 
I would be happy to read it to you, but do you know what happens every time I read that story? I cry. Oh! Because it's a little bit sad. It turns out good in the end, but it's a little bit sad in the middle, and I cry. But I like books that evoke emotions. If you had a one million dollars, what would you do? Why? Well, as you know, Mrs. Farley is getting older in her years, and I can retire in five years. But if I won a million dollars, I might be able to retire early and then not have to do all of the hours, but still come and volunteer in a school so I could still do all the things that I love to do without having to do all the things I don't love to do. What is your favorite city? Why? I would say Toronto. Toronto is my favorite city because it is the most multicultural city in the entire world. Meaning we have people here from more countries than any other city. And for Mrs. Farley, I love the variety. I love how exciting it is to meet people from new places who have new ideas. <coughs> What is your favorite children's movie? Why? Hmm. Not sure I have a favorite one, but the one, the first movie that popped into my head when you asked me that question was The Polar Bear Express, which is a holiday movie. So I'm not sure if it's because it's a holiday or because of the story, the magic in that story. I love the magic in that story. You too. Thank you for being on our show. Join us next time for another episode of Room Tool for Interview Show. And could I just say thank you to Daniela and Dallin for being excellent hosts and being for so prepared with your questions. Great job. <laughs>